Hey friends, welcome to Putting Up the Pom Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair, giving you hairstyle inspiration on the way we style and care that are quick and easy to achieve and take minimum effort. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos. To all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video where I will be styling my middle child, Kaylani, in her wavy tresses. So we're still kicking it off with the valentine's it is the month of love so we're doing all kind of heart inspired valentine's day inspired hairstyles so this one is featuring kaylani's hair so with this first style what i am doing is creating a, a huge heart part in the very back of her head because i wanted to do a heart braid um so here i am is just perfecting out and cleaning up my parts using that let's jam conditioning gel this definitely helps with adding shine and more to her hair and scalp and it helps with those clean parts to make everything looks nice and uniform so here I have my two sections of where my heart braid is going to be and I'm just making sure everything looks as even as possible so I did the first braid off camera just so you can see what it's going to look like after and I'm starting out with making a slant part to create that like little loop that we have to create that nice heart Now at first when I started doing the heart braid, I wanted it all to be in the back, but I didn't like how it ended just hanging in the back of her head. So I decided to bring it around the ear and in right there at the temple. And we're gonna add beads to the end, of course, for that nice accent. So I'm just using my shining gel. This also helps with me braiding her hair. Lonnie has a more loose texture. So with braiding this kind of texture, it can can be a little difficult and the gel kind of helps me with holding and gripping it I do find myself gripping her hair a little bit harder than I would myself or Kalia and she starts to experience a little bit of discomfort so sometimes I kind of have to you know take a step back and try to readjust how I'm going to braid her hair because I don't want her to experience too much tension Now for the remainder of her hair, I wanted to do two uh, knot buns. Um, I could have did donut buns. I don't know. Sometimes I just be going on a whim when I'm doing their hair sometimes. Uh, lately, I have not been having the inspiration to do their hair. I usually come up with a lot more like quirky and cute and kind of original styles. And lately, I've just been like, ugh. Okay, but I have been working through it because I refuse to let all of this work that we have done so far on YouTube and Instagram to just go to waste. So I'm working through it. So I secured it with a hair tie and what I'm doing is just wrapping her hair and just wrap it around multiple times. Now do be careful when it comes to tightening this bun. Don't make it too tight. Otherwise you can't experience discomfort and breakage. So I usually ask Lonnie if it is too tight to let me know so I can readjust. So here we are almost done i'm now going in with some clear and white beads for her ends and then of course i have to come in with some bows this time i'm going in with these pom-pom hair ties and i went in with like a bunch of reds and pinks because of course again it's valentine's and this style lasted her five days moving on to the next style for this one i wanted to do a heart bay i've seen this plenty of times i think the original first time i saw it was when cardi b did it and it's pretty much just creating these two humps for the bang and then i decided to do like a wavy part in the back because i went to create two low ponytails I'm going in with the Twinned Ivy Mix Kids Curls Detangling Refresher Spray. And I have spoken highly of these hair products. I've been using them for the past couple of months on Kalani and Callista lately. And I love them. I did a full review if you would love to check out that video. I will have it tagged above where you can click and check it out. But continuing with this hairstyle, I am using that to refresh in her curls, add that moisture and shine again, and securing it with a ponytail holder 
toner and we're going to get into styling the the curls in a moment. Now working to create this slick bang, which is always so difficult for me. I'm going in with the got to be spray cause this helps with the hold. So the bang doesn't do too much shifting and she doesn't experience too much flyaways. And with Kehlani's type of hair, she definitely experiences a lot of flyaways and frizz. I'm securing the bang with the ponytail in the back using a ponytail holder. And I'm going to smooth it out using my soft bristle brush and a fine tooth comb. And I added some heart clips of course and to add our Valentine's flair now let's get into styling these ponytails because I want her curls to be nice and defined I was debating leaving them just like this because I love the fullness that she was experiencing with her curls here but I went in with the twin ivy styling gel and I'm smoothing that product through and I'm going to use my boar bristle brush to smooth it in even more and then break off small pieces so I can create this more defined look and I twirl them just a little bit so they have this nice spiral So here is what she is looking like after finishing everything and the curls look great. This style lasted her two days. Now moving on to the last style of this tutorial and I apologize in advance because I am still learning how to use this camera and I changed a couple of settings and it was not cooperating with me okay so it does look a little janky we're working on it new camera I'm trying to find out all the features that it has so it's gonna come with some mistakes so here I am detangling her hair and I'm going in with a, a small heart part right above her ear now I wanted to do it like a half up half down style but I want to incorporate you know the kind of valentine theme that we are still doing during the month of love so I decided to just do a small heart part and I secured it using an elastic rubber band now from the heart part I'm then going to create my half part and with the top half of her hair I am going to style that into a side ponytail and we're gonna let the curls hang out in the back So her hair is already semi damp using the Twinned Ivy detangling spray. So now I'm going in with the styling gel and I section off small sections, work in that gel and then I go in with my boar bristle brush. I live by this boar bristle brush when it comes to styling Kehlani's beautiful curls. She has a nice spiral wave and I love it. But since we did the big chop back in December and cut off about six inches of her hair, her curls are just not as I, I don't like it I don't like them I loved it because her hair was straight and we were styling it straight for a while but the blunt cut just does not work for her curls whatsoever and I should have thought about that but I didn't I just was ready to trim her hair the cut looks so good on her when it's straight but curly I preferred her longer hair so here I'm doing a boho braid with the beads or I believe that's what they call it like a boho braid where so pretty much what I'm doing is I add a one piece of one bead to one strand of hair and then incorporate that bead into the braid so the beads are kind of built into the braid. I don't know where I got this idea from. I'm pretty sure I saw it somewhere and I don't even know the correct name for it, but I just love this look. It has like a nice like accessory to the braid. Then I'm gonna go in with some hair bobbles using those same colors that I did for the beads, the red, pink, and purple because it's Valentine's Day. And this is the finished look with her curls. And again, the camera was not being my friend. So thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial. We greatly appreciate having you guys here. Here. don't forget to check out our other valentine's day tutorials so you can style your little one for valentine's day this year thank you so much and we greatly appreciate having y'all be blessed and be safe